Hello friend, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about story point. Uh, story point uh, guys, basically it's a basically term used normally in agile. So today we will discuss about how, what is basically story point and how we calculate story points in Scrum or agile methodology. So uh, friends, uh, I would say that please subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell option as well. So let's uh, start our tutorial. What is basically a story point in Agile or a Scrum? Uh, friends, I am very hopeful that whoever is basically studying the uh, Agile or Scrum or using the uh, Scrum methodology, he definitely uh, using the Scrum story point and he definitely heard about the story point topic. So what is basically a story point? Friend, basically just remember these two words, story, point story point what does that mean story is basically a user requirement whenever we talk about a story that means that uh, it is a requirement of customer it is a basically requirement of a uh, of a user for example uh, you are implementing or making a e-commerce store and a user or customer has a requirement that uh, the user can do the payment through credit card so uh, this is basically a user uh, this is basically a story user story this is called a story basically story means the customer requirement story now it is called as point story now coming to the point story point so what is that means that story we are giving some points to story are you getting my point we are uh, giving some point to story Basically, in Agile project management and development, uh, according to the difficulty of the story or, or user requirement, we assign some points to that story. Okay, are you getting my point? For example, you are implementing an e-commerce store and you have to implement, uh, you have, you, a user requirement is that the user can uh, do the e-commerce shopping through credit card this is basically a one user story there's another user story that whoever is basically uh, whoever is basically uh, using the e-commerce store he should be registered uh, on the e-commerce store so this is another story so uh, there are two now stories okay one story belongs to uh, making payments through credit card and second user story is of registration in the e-commerce so we have to assign by considering the complexity of the requirement we will assign a point to stories story one and story two so as a team as a implementation team you should have the knowledge that teams will sit together and they will assign points to the stories according to the complexity of a use of the requirement okay so this is called basically a story point in agile a story uh, again remember that story then point story point means that you assign uh, you assign points to the story that means the user requirement according to the level of complexity of that requirement so this is called the story point remember story point story user requirement and points mean we are assigning some points now uh, how to calculate a story point how we can the how we can uh, calculate the story point uh, in scrum and agile the methodology is very simple that uh, the basic team sit together and considering the uh, for example uh, com uh, complexity of requirement we assign values but remember one thing that the assignment of values should be relative again coming back to my uh, same example a previous example for example story one is that the user can do payments through e-commerce this is called the story one and the story two is that the uh, user should be registered on the e-commerce store this is called the story two so remember one thing that what we can do as what we can say as story one 
uh, registration of user at e-commerce store we can assign 0.1 and e-commerce uh, payments through credit card we can assign point number two why we are doing that that because we are thinking our main point of th thought is that the payment through credit card would be more complex as compared to the uh, registration of user at the e-commerce store so that's why we are assigning while value 1 to the registration of user and we are assigning value 2 to the payment through credit card why because due to the complexity of level similarly if there is another story and uh, if that is the if it is more complex so we will assign it as the uh, point number three but remember one thing that the if you are assigning a point number three that means that it should be it should be more complex it should be two-thirds of a it should be more complex relatively within the stories so just remember that whatever the points you are assigning to the stories it should be uh, it should be dependent on the complexity level and also the decision should be made on the relativity between the user stories which you are implementing in the sprints okay so that's called one means less that the two means more complex than the p previous stories and three means more complex as compared to the previous story so this is called the main approach a main uh, methodology to calculate the story point now what is basically the purpose of story point why we are using these story points in a scrum or in agile basically story points are intended to make team estimation more easier instead of looking at a product backlog item and estimating it in hours team consider only how much effort a product backlog item will require relative to other product backlog item remember that if we talk about waterfall model uh, in the waterfall method methodology we always use the hours uh, or uh, per hour or per day methodology like we estimate that this task require 8 hours or this task requires 16 hours and uh, on basis of that we do all the estimations but remember uh, in a scrum or in agile it is a different methodology uh, we are not focusing on the hours based approach we are uh, based on the complexity level approach and also the relevant approach for uh, we are not saying that the story one requires eight hours and the story two requires 16 hours no we are basically assigning points to the stories dependent on the depending on the complexity level and also we are seeking the relativity between the stories so basically uh, you can say if you talk about basically you are focusing on the implementation of a stories and more focus is on the complexity level and more focus on the relativity between the stories rather than focusing on the hours basis to approach so this approach a story point approach is totally different if we talk about as compared to the waterfall model so uh, this is also a very good approach and uh, uh, nowadays it is very common and most more popular nowadays so uh, guys thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side also i would uh, i would say that if you want from my side to make more videos please let me know please comment on the videos and also please share it with your friends and colleagues and please do like my videos so thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, uh, that's all from my side okay thank you